Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print out all of the beans that are in a spring context as you start up so you can debug these. Now, we have a Spring Boot application here. Now, let's actually just first scroll through the logs as a simple startup. This is a, a Spring Data REST repository app. And as we're scrolling through this, you notice we have lots of mappings that are available. And there's a good amount of information about what Spring Boot is doing. But as you see, we're at the bottom. There's no information about the Spring Beans nor your beans that you've loaded. Now, there's two different ways of doing this. First of all, let me just show you one way I'll do. In the Spring Security application itself, we can paste something in that looks kind of like this. I've used this before and we'll give it a little bit of room and let's show you what's actually happening line by line real quick. So we're going to uh, create a bean that's gonna load at startup and it is actually going to be a special command line runner. And this command line runner is going to have the spring application context injected at load time while we're loading the application up. And we are actually going to return a command line runner. And what we're going to do line by line, we're going to take this application context and we're going to get all beans that are in the definition. Next, what we're going to do is let's, let's just do some printouts, right? I, I like to print out a, a, a line above and beyond and below so I can see what's happening. At least it boxes in my debug statements. And uh, for me, I like to see how many beans actually were loaded. Um, maybe I'm just the want to know mathematically where I stand. And then we are going to create an array. We have an array, of course, of bean names. Now we're going to take the arrays dot stream. We're going to stream those beans out. Now let me give you some space here to show you what's happening. What we're going to do line by line, we're going to create a, a stream from this array. We then are going, going to sort them, which will sort them alphabetically. And then for every one of those beans that we have sorted, we are actually going to do a for each, which means I'm going to send each of those elements, which is just the names to a consumer. And the consumer is going to be system dot out is the consumer. And we're going to do colon colon print line, which is the method that will act on that one single input. Now, now if we actually restart the application with this in line, let's actually look at what we get now. Let's give it a little bit of room here. So now as we're starting it up, all of a sudden at the beginning, there we go. Right before we loaded, let's scroll up a little bit. And now as you see, at the very top here, there's quite a bit loaded. Okay, here we go. And we have, as you see, a lot, right? A lot that you didn't know was here. So as you see, the listing, we are listing the 378 beans that were loaded by this Spring Boot application. And of course, as you can see, they are, they are loaded in alphabetical order. So nice little trick there, uh, especially if uh, you want to view what's happening. Uh, the only thing I would really usually suggest is using something like a logger so I can put this as a debug and that way it's not running every time that I'm loading my application up. One other very good option that you can do is doing this. If I do a at profile, right? If I actually add at profile to this bean and I say a specific profile, let's call it, I want to trace profile. So anytime I activate the trace profile when I'm running, only then will this bean get loaded and everything will get run. 
Now, if I save that, let's actually restart the application again with no profiles, and let's see what happens in the logs at this time. So now as we're loading up, we see we logged, we loaded at port 8080, and this time the bean did not get executed because we did not load the trace profile. So this way we can actually turn it on or off as we're using it without having to pull the code out. Hope this helps. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel and see all the latest videos that I have coming out. Thanks a lot. I'm a computer. I love my user.